all Coaster fans. My my name is Colin from Coaster Creations, and this is going to be my first ever roller coaster review. Today's review will be on Maverick at Cedar Point. Maverick at Cedar Point is got to be like my favorite roller coaster of all time. It is because it's like, I just conquered my fear of roller coasters this summer, and I was, like, super terrified of them. And then I went to Cedar Point. I live, like, uh, pretty close. I live in, like, near Detroit, Michigan. So, it's, like, two hours away. And so, this and Michigan Adventures are in my two home parks. And this ride is just awesome. This is my number one roller coaster. Behind it is Millennium Force and then Mystic Timbers. The only reason Top of Jackster is at number three is because I didn't get to ride it. And I don't really know how well it's doing because I went there for Halloween weekends. And it was closed. On your way back to Maverick. Maverick stands at a height of 105 feet tall with a 100 foot drop. It goes 70 miles an hour. The 70 mile per hour mark is not after the first drop. It, it like goes into this tunnel part and then you stop and there's like some theming around it. Like some wooden boards and like railroad signs. And then all of a sudden you just hear like this whoosh noise. And then you just shoot out there. And you're like going 70 miles an hour and you fly by like this pond that like shoots up like fountains and ice so I said there it was people shooting shotguns at you because it like looks like it's guns and if you're in the back row you get a little bit misted the drop is 95 degrees it's the steepest coaster in the park and that 95 degree drop is just crazy if you're in the back you like feel like you're just gonna get whipped out of the train and flown across the park to Millennium Force it's crazy after that, you go into, like, bank, some bank turns, and those look just like the Intimidator 305 bank turns. And after that, you go into an airtime hill, and then you, like, turn around, and then you do your two inversion, which is called a horseshoe, and a ho twisted horseshoe roll inversion. The twisted horseshoe roll can only be found on Maverick and Blue Fire at Europa Park. What makes this one so unique is that what happens is you go up, you do a corkscrew, and then you do a, and then you do a left hand turn, and then you do another corkscrew. After that, you go into the tunnel, you shoot out of the tunnel, you go through your shotgun moments, and then you do a couple overbank turns, and you hit the brake run. It is an awesome ride. Right here is one of those. This picture right here is one of those turns right after the first drop. And these are super intense because there's some a little bit of theming along with it because there's like some rocks there and it feels like you're gonna like get your head shut up chopped off by the rocks it is so cool and you're like flying so the theme of this ride is like the theme to i guess maverick uh the like an old western horse but like lately cedar point's been giving a character of like a guy with like a no face with like a hat over his head with like a pickaxe but it just has like, a western theme it's cedar point so it doesn't have Tons of theming, like the trains are named like after horses and stuff, like Bot and Ben. I think I like I only I wrote four times and I got I got a ride on Sam and Bot, but other than that I didn't get any train. Uh, it's super intense though. The reason that makes it intense is because in this picture you can tell it's older because it had like the hard restraints, but it's got these new soft restraints that are so much better than the old ones. I I haven't ridden it with the old ones, but people say that it's that they're like horrible and terrible but i actually like have nothing really bad to say about this ride and right here is a picture of that drop right there that drop is just nuts and crazy the whole point of this coaster i think when they're dividing it they're just telling intamin hey intamin what's the smallest thing you can do okay make it the craziest and intamin probably just went there and was like okay well, let's do this and they probably just like yeah people from yeah, I would not trust, like, like, RMC could probably build this, but Intamin is, like, knocked it out of the ballpark. I wonder how Steel Vengeance is gonna, Steel Vengeance is gonna compare to that. That looks like an amazing RMC, like, top notch. And this is, like, an awesome coaster. Now I'm gonna give it a score out of 100. 100 being, like, the best in the entire world. Zero being horrible. I'm gonna give Ma uh, Maverick a hundred plus out of a hundred which means it's ex it exceeded my expectations i went here with like crazy expectations just getting off a million force and it went above those expectations my personal score out of 20 out of 20 will be a 20 out of 20 they cannot have made a better coaster here the launch is fantastic shoots you out of this tunnel you go up the shotguns it's awesome i remember looking at this ride as a little kid and thinking it was so scary you go on it and it's very scary
this is a picture of the lift hill right here. This is where I love Maverick. That lift hill right there going up to the top, this is like, this thing, it just shoots you off. You're just like, you roll forward very slowly, and all of a sudden you hear like a whoosh, just like the launch, and you go up. It feels like you're like, like on ice skates, but you're sitting down. It is so cool. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my ch channel, Coaster Connections. This, is, this will be a fast-growing YouTube channel, and I'm sure to post more and more YouTube videos as the time goes on. The more you watch, the more I do. The more you like, the more I do. The more you comment, the more I'll respond. And the more you subscribe, the more I'll do.